Takeoffs and landings can be some of the most important skills to master. Landings especially can be difficult. I always like to take off with the nose of the aircraft pointing away from me, and this allows me to maintain my visual orientation on the, air, on the aircraft during takeoff. I'll be demonstrating taking off and landing with the help of my friend Garrett. We've already gone through my pre-flight checklist, which included calibrating the compass, remember to read and follow the instructions for your drone, and follow the necessary calibration procedures before you fly. It's best to practice taking off and landing in a wide open place like a grassy field. To take off, many models will require you to first arm the motors. On the Phantom models, this is done by bringing both control sticks down and in towards the center. Once armed, the motors will begin to spin up, uh, but the aircraft will not lift off until you give it just a little bit more throttle. To lift off, slowly and steady push up on the throttle stick, which is the left hand stick, until the aircraft leaves the ground. On GPS and gyro stabilized models such as the Phantom, the aircraft should hold its position and hover in place if you let off the control sticks. If you're flying a manual model such as many cheap practice drones, you'll have to be constantly making small inputs to, ma to maintain a hover. Landing is a little more difficult than takeoff. To land you'll need to slowly pull down on the throttle stick until the drone touches the ground. The key is to make touchdown as gentle as possible. Once you make contact with the ground, pull the throttle stick all the way down and the motors should disarm.